So let's look at those two helper functions first. Um, I've set them up with some test cases already and commented out the test cases, but let's look at the get fun def part. So for get fun def, um, if we're looking for the function named double and we have a list that includes double as a definition, then we should find that particular definition. Remember that double def we defined above here as just the parsed form of defined double x. So if you're looking for the word double, you can find it as double def. Uh, if we have double def and quadruple def and we look for double, we still find double def. If we look for double and it's the second one, we still find it. If we look for quadruple, we can find it. If we look for double in the empty list, then we're going to get undefined function out. So let's write this function. We have get fun def that takes two arguments, a symbol and a defs. So what should drive the template here? We have two different arguments. Clearly, defs is the more interesting argument, and we know we can see intuitively that we need to, to look through the, the list. So let's drive it based on that argument. So list of func defin defs, we have two possible cases. It can either be empty, or it can be a cons of some def onto the rest of the defs. And if we do that, we have def to work with, and we have rest defs to work with, and since rest defs is itself a list, we almost certainly want to get fun def on that, where s looks like it's along for the ride. What if we're in the empty case? Do we have a test for that? Yes, get fun def of empty, it should just be an error, an exception, undefined function. So we can say error get fun def undefined function, and that's how we satisfy that test case. In the other test case, what do we have to work with? We have def, we also have s, and we have the rest of the function definitions. s is the name we're looking for. Def is a definition that might have a matching name. So if we use fd name of def, that gets its name out. We can compare that name to the name we're looking for, s. And if they match, then that's the definition we wanted. So we can just return f. If we don't match, then what we want is f if it's anywhere in the rest of the definitions. And that is what our template provided recursion already gives us. So all we need to do is get rid of the dots. Let's try this out and make sure it passes our tests. And yep, no errors. So that means it passed our test.